Guys, I'm here to talk about my big issue with CGC. What's going on everyone? I'm Steve from Burke Family 54 Comics and in today's video I'm going to be talking about my issue with CGC. Before we do that though, hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell, all of that. So obviously this video, we're talking about CGC's price increases and my thoughts on that. Um, spoiler alert, I don't like it very much at all. <laughs> it is the second time they've raised prices uh, in the last year, actually in the last 10 months. Um, they raised it in March, uh, actually in April, um, and then in January as well. Um, we've gone up $4 just in the last, uh, like I said, 10 months. And um, to go along with these price increases, we now have longer wait times, worse uh, quality control, all of that. And I am not very happy about it whatsoever. Um, yeah, because like, you know, $4 maybe for one one book may not seem like a lot. But if you're one of those people that sends in a bunch of books, 20, 30, 40, however much it is, I mean, that's that adds up. Um, just 10 books, that adds up $40 more. And like I said, their turnaround times are significantly worse now than they were a um, year and a half, two years ago. Um, I remember sending in a book in the summer of, 20, summer of 2020, obviously. That's when things were a little bit different. Um, and I got my stuff back in seven weeks, eight weeks. Um, and I remember at the time thinking, you know, I'm really glad it didn't take three months to get here because three months at the time was considered a long time. Now we're looking at turnaround times of, as of this video, 149 days for a modern um, turnaround time, which is approximately 30 weeks. That is stupid. That's seven months for people that can do math. Uh, 26 weeks equals six months. So 30 weeks, that's seven months. Um, and again, that's basically twice as long as it used to take just a year and a half, two years ago um, to grade the exact same book, which they have hired more help. And, you know, they posted that they are caught up. <laughs> They're not caught up. They're caught up on like receiving stuff. But like I have books and I know a lot of people also have books that have been sitting there since July. And I mean, we're now at that point where the book should be returned based on their waiting times. And it's just, I mean, for them to raise the prices while they're backed up. On top of all of that, they keep doing their freaking in-house signings and like all they're doing is backing everything else up now obviously i've been one of those people that has taken advantage of their in-house signing before i did one book i was one of the people that sent in a team and t book for the eastman signing um over a year ago and uh, it took that took a long time to get back even though it was supposed to be express service it wasn't express it took freaking forever to get that book back and uh all they're doing is they keep adding more and more and more in-house signing to get them more and more money. So if they're getting more money for all these in-house signings, why are they raising their prices? Like, I don't get that whatsoever. Um, it's very, very irritating and uh, frustrating for me as a consumer um, when there's a bunch of books that have just been sitting there forever. Hey, let's announce another addition to our company. Let's announce another in-house signing. Let's announce another price increase. And oh, by the way, it goes into effect in two weeks. So you got two weeks to submit your books, um, which is what I'm guessing a lot of people try to do is they try to submit their books before the increase so they can get even more money over those two weeks. Like it just, it feels like CGC is money hungry right now. And I, it, it's, it's very frustrating and I feel like it's hurting the hobby like a lot. Um, Especially one of those, especially if you're a person that only grades, you know, modern books, in which they actually raise their prices across the board, not just for modern, not just for magazine, not just for whatever tier. They've raised it across the board, and it's just uh, extremely infuriating, extremely infuriating because you're paying more for a worse service now than you got, like I said, a year and a half or two years ago. And uh, yeah, I. 
I think I just speak for the entire comic book community when I say I just I, I we just want CGC to get caught caught up on their CGC submissions. When I say that caught up, I mean by getting back to their three month turnaround time for submissions. I mean it, it shouldn't be six seven months at this point for a turnaround time. Uh, they shouldn't be doing as many in house signings. I mean there are cons happening, like cons are still happening, and they need to be at those cons for submissions or they need to have a third party person there for those submissions. They don't need to be doing the amount of in-house submit uh, signings they're doing to back themselves up even more. Like it's just, it just, like I said, it, us as consumers, we're paying more for a service that's worse now than it was a year and a half, two years ago. On top of all of that, can, can we talk a little bit about how terrible their magazine size cases are i mean they are horrible like i understand that not other you know competitors cbcs or whoever they don't have a magazine tier so that like they don't have those cases to compare with but if you've ever had a magazine case like they creak you can open them the inside of a lot of team and t last ronins i had one dale suspense had one the inside has like like uh i don't even know what what's it, like there's like crap on the inside of all the cases and that's not to talk about all the other cases. that There's been hairs in cases. There's been cracks on the outside, cracks on the inside. It shakes now because they, that was the way they got rid of the Newton rings. You know what I mean? Like it just, I feel like they really, really need to step up their game if they're going to be charging more. And they haven't done that. And in fact, it's gotten worse. And I, I'm one of those people that I, I think they need to get a better magazine size case. It, it doesn't need to creak. Get a better label that's not in their cockeyed. Make sure that it's not like a sticky thing on the top like the old CGC cases used to be. Like the magazine si size cases are absolute crap and you guys need to do a better job on that and you need to do a better job on your turnaround times, not just for magazine size, but across the board. Like do better if you're gonna charge more because at this point, I see a lot of people not, not renewing their CGC membership and I am one of them. Like I I'm, start I'm starting to get to, the, to get to that point where I'm just, I'm so upset with the way CGC is treating the community that I don't even want to give them any business anymore. Like I'd rather buy a book already graded than submit a whole bunch of books and pay more for it and have to wait six, seven months or longer if it's a magazine size. Like I'm, I'm just frustrated as hell. And I think the entire community is frustrated as hell as well. These price increases when you guys are honestly way worse now than you used to be at a lower price so fix your stuff cgc this is ridiculous so sorry for that ramble sorry if uh i hurt anyone's feelings if you're cgc and you want to come on a channel to talk about this and explain yourselves hit me up in the dms on instagram or comment below again my name is steve from burke family 54 comics thanks everyone for watching and as always go cats cowabunga and it's morphin time Today's video is brought to you by comic book underscore pressing on Instagram. Protect your comic book investment for as little as $12 by using Eric from comic book underscore pressing on Instagram. He can press any grade or tier of book and make sure you use my promo code Burke 54 to get free shipping back to you on your first order. Again, today's video is brought to you by comic book underscore pressing on Instagram.